And from Stowe Cider, we welcome Kelly. How are you, Kelly? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for visiting us down here in the Southeast Corridor. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> and thanks for bringing your delicious product with you, of which uh, I see multiple cans. Let me hold it up. Oh, look at that beautiful Stowe Cider. So welcome. And last year was your first year at the Brattleboro Brewers Festival, so things must have went okay because you're back this year. Yeah, they went really well. We really enjoyed it there. <laughs> well, it is the 8th Annual Brattleboro Brewers Festival. It's coming up May 25th. It's right around the corner, brattleborobrewersfestival.com. That's where you get your tickets. I get some tickets and get some for your friends. And Kelly, this is the easy part for you. Tell us about Stowe Cider. I think I know where it's made. Yeah, so we are located in Stowe, Vermont, um, right on Mountain Road, uh, next to the West Branch Art Gallery. Um, we moved there, it was a year this past August. Um, we were founded in 2013 by a couple. Um, they started in their basement. We went to a little tiny building on Route 100 called the Snack Shack, or right next to it at least. Uh, we went to another facility, and now here we are in our, you could say our third building. Um, everything is in one building now. It's really awesome. We're just finishing up some final details on our new tasting room and looking forward to our summer season of just lots of fun and festivals and having a grand old time. Now you've been with the company for what, about a year and a half? Yes. So you're kind of, you're able to watch this company, as you mentioned, start in a basement and now you're seeing it grow and grow and grow. That's got to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It really is, yeah. Um, I've been a fan of the cider for a while, so starting to work for them was really cool and then just seeing them grow. Um, from then on is really awesome. I just got back down from or got back up from DC for an event um, down there, which was really cool. I was in Massachusetts, got to see our cider. So it's really cool when you get to go see these other places and you're like, there's our product. Now you said you were a fan of this particular cider before you started working there. Yeah, I went oh, to how college. How cool is here. that? Mm -hmm. So I started drinking in college, and then now here I am working for the company, and I would say kind of in my my dream position where I was hoping to be at this time in my life. So you are working a job that you have fun at. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, and, and you and I were talking before, uh, and you mentioned that Stowe Cider prides itself in being a dry cider. So tell yes. tell a dum dum like me, what's a dry cider, and, and how is it different than a than a regular? A hard cider that we may enjoy. Yeah, of course. So we kind of just don't add sugar. That's our thing. We don't do added sugar. Um, some of ours do have kind of like, um, we have lemon in one of them, so there's an added sweetness to that one. We do uh, have a brainwave series that's really cool, and there's a lot of different things added to that. Like we did one with um, blue gummy bears, which was really awesome. Whoa. It was very tart, really awesome, but no sugar is added to it, but obviously gummy bears have it, so there's that. Um, our driest cider is the high and dry, which is probably my favorite, staff favorite. There is no sugars in it. There's no added sugars. Um, it's really, really awesome. Just super dry cider. Um, it's actually the one of ones that we will be bringing to the Brattleboro Brew Fest with us in a couple weeks. So let's talk about some of the yeah. ones. What are the ciders you will be bringing? May 25th, 8th Annual Brattleboro Brewers Festival. What are some of the ones you're bringing? Or what are um, the ones you're bringing? The high and dry, personal favorite. Um, Got it. It's we didn't have it, so I brought a different one. But uh, it'll be the high and dry, which is in a blue can, um, blue and white. And then we have our shandy, which is our summer seasonal that we just released. Everyone's always really excited about this one. It's um, a hazy cider with homemade lemonade added to it. Really nice, a little bit on the tart side, but not overpowering by any means. Um, people love it. It's very like easy drinking cider. And then we have our other one that's called an apple haze. It's an unfiltered apple bomb. Um, a little bit on the sweeter side for us, tastes exactly like biting into a fresh apple. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, am I drooling over here? <laughs> I don't want to gross you out. No, you're good. I mean, it's... You had me an apple good. bomb. <laughs> that sounds yummy, and I don't know if you just mentioned, but what is your particular favorite? Um, so, I love the high and dry. It's one of the ones that I started drinking uh, when I was in college, so I was really enjoying it then. Um, you did I, extensive research, <laughs> is what you're saying. Yes. In I addition see. to calculus and American history. That stuff, yeah, and then, you know, it's just cider drinking, um, but I say it runs through my veins. It's amazing, and then I also love the gummy bear one I was talking about. That's one of our limited ones that's really enjoyable. Tell us where we can find you on the internet, where people can learn more about the product, and then tell us where we can go to go and try of it. Of course. So you can go to stowcider.com. Um, we have actually have a cider finder. Um, really awesome. You can type in your zip code, and all the places that sell us will pop up, and you can call, see what type of cider that they have in stock, and kind of go from there. Um, you can also visit our tasting room 100% and get everything there. We have 24 draft lines. 
Uh, they could be all cider, but we do have uh, non-alcoholic kombucha, a bubbly cider, and we keep a beer on draft for those beer drinkers. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> and just really around in Brattleboro area, the co-op, um, we're all in gas stations all around, um, liquor stores and things like that. And, and you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, and it's really awesome. It's got to be. I can tell because your enthusiasm is contagious. You are a great representative for Stowe Cider. They are lucky to have you. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> and are you going to be down here May 25th? I will not be on board. What? Really. Okay. I have to run the tasting room, help out in the tasting room. But um, AJ, who actually did it last year, he will be down there. He's really excited to come back and uh, be there. He talked about it last year and said it was so much fun. Um, I'll be down in Brattleboro for a couple other events this uh, season. Don't worry. I'll be down well, Don't here, be a stranger. I will. I'll be down here soon, but AJ will be there um, the 25th. Okay. Again, with the website address www.stowcider.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. There you go. The very awesome <laughs> Kelly from Stowe Cider. And again, Brattleboro Brewers Festival, May 25th. Get your tickets today, brattleboro brewers festival.com. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for having me.